Well, government data shows U.S. producer prices fell at 2.8 percent last month, while energy prices declined to a 22-year low. The housing market in the U.S. slumped in November to its lowest level since records began in 1985. Now, chief executives of the big three automakers in the U.S. say their industry teeters on the brink of disaster. They're pleading for another $25 billion U.S. billion in addition to money already approved and administered by the Energy Department. Li Na has more. The General Electric... The congressional hearings come as the U.S. and European countries consider whether they should commit billions of taxpayer dollars to bolster struggling automakers. There are two fundamental questions that I think we're dealing with today. First, is there a competitive and sustainable future for our domestic automobile industry? And secondly, is a government bridge loan through these difficult economic times better for our country than in action? I believe the answer to both of these is yes. Chrysler said the company is the one most likely to be affected. Therefore, without an immediate bridge financing support, Chrysler's liquidity could fall below the level necessary to sustain operations. To win support, they all promise to pay back the money with interest. You know, we will, if given the opportunity to uh, bridge through this, this financial crisis, uh, you think you can take uh, our commitments that we will do everything we can to ensure the money's paid back, paid back with interest, and, and certainly have understood that uh, the expectations would be, you know, something additional, whether it's warrants or whatever, and we, we would fully agree to that. However, their pleas seem to fall on deaf ears. One senator suggested the automakers are failed models and should file for bankruptcy. The auto companies argue a bailout is justified because one in ten U.S. jobs depends on them. GM, Chrysler and Ford employ close to 250,000 people in the United States. The supporters claim they support more than four million jobs at suppliers, dealers and rental companies. Both GM and Ford shares fell again on Tuesday, while well, actually the U.S. market rose in general. In the past 12 months, GM shares have lost more than 90 percent of their value, and Ford is down more than 80 percent. Dina, CCTV.